was all pretty tight in Group B going into the game. Arsenal level on points with both Ajax and Valencia. The team news as follows. Ajax made one change from the 11 that drew at Highbury a week ago. In came Richard Vitschke, but still no Raphael van der Vaart. For Arsenal, David Seaman and Ashley Cole returned. They missed the demolition of Manchester City at the weekend. To the Amsterdam Arena then, and the best of Ajax versus Arsenal, your commentators, Jim Beglin and first Guy Mowbray. Ajax get us underway. The question is, how will Arsenal come out of the blocks? 4-0 up inside 20 minutes on Saturday. 1-0 up after 20 seconds. The last time they came to Holland. As long as Ajax keep possession, they will suffer the same sort of embarrassment PSV Eindhoven did. Stephen Peanut, such a star at Highbury last week. I wonder how Patrick Vieira will respond to his challenge this time, Jim Beggar. Well, I think he'll know from last week. He and Gilberto have to be worse out of in the Arsenal field. So many games are dictated by who gets the groups of things better in the engine room. And I think they really want to impose themselves on this match. And I think if Arsenal do that, then I think they're great experience. It can tell. Peanut was challenged by Gilberto, but got away from the Brazilian. Decent ball too. Another made it trying to find the cross. Comes Roberto again and wins the first free kick of the night in Arsenal's favour. Looks towards the centre. Carries on in that direction himself. Vieira. Camp has just been working with intent down this left-hand side. Into the feet of Wiltor. Touch to Henri. Didn't find Wiltor with the return, but Henri's got it back again. Shaping the shoot, Henri! Brings the first save from the Romanian keeper, Lobot. Well, we didn't see an awful lot of that last week at Highbury from Henri, and he stated his intent straight away. I mean, this is brilliant from him. Just gets it out of his feet, away from his man, feels comfortable with the shot, and he really made the keeper work excellent. Wiltor. Challenged by Kivu, managed to offload to Henri, and this is actually Cole. Pires. First real run from Robert Pires. Going out of room, needs some support now and has found it. And it's Gilberto shaping one up. Always drifting wide. Good support play from the Brazilian midfielder. from Maxwell's ball. Lichka. Climbs it for Himovic. That was the sandwich in between Keown and Campbell. Gilberto steamroll of Pinar to the floor. And it's Lauren. And Sylvain Wiltor. Henry just hanging back for the moment. It's Bergkamp making progress and Wiltor shooting. the wrong side of the netting. Well, that's exactly what Koeman is trying to not to happen, isn't it? He set his side out a little more cautiously tonight, deep, but that time the push players forward gave Ruto the space to have a pop, but I think Lebon had it covered. Defence and it's still Hatem Trebelsi. It's in towards Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic's effort took a big deflection past David Seaman's goal. Created by the Tunisian. That was a great run by him. You know, and the thing he's going to shoot, he threads a lovely little ball to Ibrahimovic. What undid him really was the fact that the first touch was too far away from him. Kion was there. Trebelsi. Improvising to bring De Jong back into play. Yeah, Stop line going back towards their own goal at times. As long as they keep possession, which they have done, and it's Pinar again. Dispossessed by Vieira, fairly in the referee's opinion. Here's Henri. Now Pires, he's got away from Galasek. Dennis Bergkamp, he's got the goal in his sights. Neither cross nor shot in the end from Bergkamp. Great little nutmeg from Perez. 
And when he played Bergkamp in, Henri made a terrific run inside, made up the ground, and Lobant again had it covered, had it been on target. Fires it in, Vieira slid in. Good stop from Lebont. Gilberto. He's lost that to Pinar. And got a hold of Pinar as he threatened to get clear of him. And that's decide that they want to increase the speed. It's Vichka. De Jong. is motoring forward. Pascal then trying to get by Pires and it is a free kick. Robert Pires with the foul. And the Ajax coach might have fancied one from this range, Ronald Koeman. Echoes of Koeman as the captain and central defender Christian Kivu spots the ball very carefully to try and test David Seaman. Very carefully setting the wall. Only the three men, but Nicole has gone back to guard the post. Now drifts away as Kivu hits it. And what a good job Ashley Cole was there. That's fantastic defending by Ashley Cole because that was in. David Seaman wasn't getting anywhere near it. He stepped up to make sure nobody could get too close to goal. He wanted to try and maybe run him offside. And then backed at the last moment. Brilliant. to De Jong to Pinar, De Jong goes on, goes down under pressure from Cole, and the referee has booked Ashley Cole for that. It's at first to be shoulder against shoulder, I think that's the point Cole and Vieira are making. I tend to agree with him, but as a left back, I would say that. It's there to be one last sortie forward for Arsenal before the interval. Henri. Oh, great skill for Henri. And he's in on goal now. Decided to try and play it square for any supporting forwards, but there was nobody there for him. Touch of brilliance from the Frenchman. But nothing on the end of it. Nothing on the end for both Arsenal and Ajax thus far at the Amsterdam Arena. At the interval, it's all square. We still await the first goal. Ajax nil, Arsenal nil. second half in Amsterdam and Ajax or Arsenal find the key to unlock the opposition's very resolute defense so can be said for both sides They've shut the door firmly tonight but I think as the second half progresses I mean things should open up a little bit more and hopefully the game will flow as Bergkamp who gets a welcome back from Galasek he looked as if he was going to blow for a free kick and allowed an advantage which never really developed for Arsenal. And Christian Kivu, who came closest of anybody to scoring a free kick, nodded away by Ashley Cole on the line. Arsenal has decided to join us now, he's not missed a great deal. Stefan Ibrahimovic has Trapelsi in support, past Cole. Pinar back towards Hatton Trapelsi, who's into the area and scores for Ibrahimovic. It needed a big, big challenge to deflect it over the crossbar. Well, Lauren's made a few tonight, but that is easily his most important. This was superb by Ajax down the right-hand side. trabelsi has been a danger when he's broken forward all night long. Great ball in, but what, what's this from Lauren? Fantastic. Henri. Brought down by Galasek. I'm not sure there was a lot in that. I mean, Galasek did raise an arm, but Henri took full advantage. It's an eye on 30 yards away from the Ajax goal, guarded by Bogdan Lavont. It's Henri. 
goalkeeper leaping across his goal. And the assistant referee has the flag raised. I don't know if he's giving goal kick or well, offside. If Lobon did get a touch on it, he's disguised it well. He did, didn't he? Gilberto. Again, Gilberto. Again, Pires. Committed by Van der Meijer. Well, I think the barest of touches is certainly nothing serious. A little clip on the knee, and I'll take the free kick, thanks. Van der Meijer was just a little bit late, but no serious damage. Bergkamp waits for the whistle. Pulled away. Oh, and the chance did fall to Patrick Vieira to take it very quickly indeed straight at the goalkeeper I think he did well Vieira because sometimes you're not sure whether it's going to come your way and you're not quite ready for it he was did well to get good contact on it lob on to Gendon item Ibrahimovic touch to van der Meijer oh he couldn't take it under control what a chance it would have been had he moved on Arsenal opened up by the cute play of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Milto now is giving it back to Ajax. And here's Van der Meijer. Vichka. Spread it all the way over to Trabelsi. Pinar. One twos between Trabelsi and Pinar. And again Trabelsi. Ibrahimovic, who's well spotted by Vieira. It's a very poor touch from him. He was read by De Jong. Back he comes to redeem himself. And how much did the referee see of that? He was on the blind side. The assistant referee flagged merely for a throw. But Patrick Vieira is going to get the yellow card. Maybe the replay will prove me wrong. He went in forcefully. I thought he played the ball. The assistant was right there, and now what's happening? And the ball's just been squeezed away, much to the annoyance of the Ajax fans, who are getting rather excitable over on that side of the field. It's Vieira's second caution of the competition. We'll get a better look at it here. I mean, tell me what's wrong with that. That's a perfectly fair challenge. I can't believe he's been yellow carded for that. Henri. Keenar slid in. Henri kept his balance at the pace to beat Trabelsi. Cole's racing forward. Actually, Cole for Arsenal couldn't get to it quite in time. Bergkamp to Pires, all a bit of a mess. And away come Ajax. Ibrahimovic, Pinar's on the charge. Keown had the head start. He needed every yard of it. Ibrahimovic decides to keep it in. Really good play from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Pasanen was still forward. It was a central defender's flick. It was easily dealt with. And it's going to be an Arsenal ball with another free kick award. This was nice skill and great strength. I mean, Vieira is not easy to shirk off, and he did it easily in the end, Ibrahimovic. Henri. Gilberto. Not sure what he was attempting. Maxwell. That's Mido. He's been a willing runner since leaving the bench. Nothing's quite come off for him. And for the closing minutes, the Ajax fans have decided to get back into full voice again. Arsenal got something to silence them. Henri, this is Van Bronckhorst. Oh, it didn't quite fall for Franny Jeffers. I think he's done really well to read the knockdown from Henri and get there, but it was always just a little too far ahead of Jeffers, and honestly, he could not do enough about it. And for the second successive week, Ajax and Arsenal are locked level in the Champions League. 
And in this very, very tight Group B, the qualification equation is just as muddled as ever. It's full time in Amsterdam, and it's finished Ajax nil, Arsenal nil. Ajax made it very difficult for you tonight, they didn't, didn't they? Play. They didn't come out, and uh, as long as we didn't score the first goal, I think uh, in the first half we had a lot of a game and uh, couldn't score the goal. And as long as we didn't score, they didn't come out. It's, uh, we had a, a very negative attitude. Patrick, how frustrating was that for you this evening? Frustrated, but uh, I think it was a difficult game for the both team. I think uh, the draw is good for, for the both team because uh, we create chances, but we didn't score. But in the end, I think the, the draw is, uh, is OK for the both team. Yeah. Well, it was like a, a footballing game of chess, really. Um, they didn't really want to commit too many players. Um, as soon as you did commit, you, you know, you've, you're leaving big space behind. So it was kind of cat and mouse the whole night. They get a lot of credit because they are a young side. But uh, in fairness, uh, if you look at the chances they created in 180 minutes, I don't think they created a lot. And uh, they are a cautious side. And, uh, it's not really tradition of, of, of Ajax, and I still am not convinced that at the moment they are up there where everybody tells them, but we have as well to recognise that you couldn't beat them, so they must have some quality. We knew that uh, it would be a really difficult group because anybody can beat anybody, but uh, it's still uh, six, points, uh, six points left, and uh, of course it's going to be hard, but uh, we have the next important game at home against Roma, so we're going to prepare for it. Spanish champions had never lost a Champions League match at home. Roma had lost three out of three in the group so far. But then the world's greatest game has never been predictable. Francesco Totti for 1-0. The Italian size captain and talisman missed the home defeat to Valencia last week. He was quickly making up for lost time. Cafu's slow cross converted. Two goals in six minutes. And the Mestalla stunned into silence. And that wasn't the end of Valencia's nightmare. Six minutes later, Totti turned creator with a slide rule pass for the Brazilian Emerson to score. Keeper Santiago Canizares left hopelessly exposed again. Just about everything Totti touched was turning to gold, and this would have capped it. But 3-0 Roma, Valencia's first defeat of the tournament. Mm, a very surprising scoreline at Valencia, and it means that it is all still very tight in Group B. But to make it simple, if Arsenal and Ajax both win at home in a fortnight's time, both will definitely qualify for the quarterfinals. Well, the 0-0 uh, at Ajax, I guess, is, is the main game that concerns us this evening. Before we look forward, Barry, and to, to not allow Arsenal to score over the two games, as Arsene Wenger said, is, is some feat, no matter how negative Ajax were. There are only really half chances tonight for yeah, Arsenal. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we've, we've heard a few comments. Chess, negative, cat and mouse. It was technical, mm. and it was a bit of a grind. But you've got to give Ajax credit. When, when you see the pitches that Dennis Bergkamp seeing, he's a lock picker in the side, and he didn't have an awful, awful lot of luck because Ajax was so organised. Arsenal had to forge their own chances, not really half chances, in fact, the Hayek had uh, so many men behind the ball. Thierry Henry, fantastic bit of skill, which could possibly unlock them. Look at the men they've got back, couldn't pick his ball out. This was the story of the night. That they had a, a fair bit of possession in the first half, but look again, the Ajax men back. And we're talking about precision, we're talking about a couple of inches here and there. It's a great ball in. Look at the space he's got to hit. A couple of inches, and that was, that was pretty much it. Um, Ajax defended intelligently. This was the best chance yeah. from a set piece. Vieira, and, and that's as good as it got. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was a tactical battle. I guess 